guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so I know that I said recently that we would come on and do some snippet rolls um, using book pages really rather than the Tyvek so I'm just here now to do that all I've done is taken some book page and then just cut them into strips so they don't have to be the same size or anything like that because obviously these are going to be covered up so all I'm going to do in the first instance just to get me started is I'm just going to glue them together so that I make a long strip oops this is not a good start to the video is it okay so that we make a long strip you know as like the Tyvek would have been so we just glue them together like that Okay, I did do a practice run um, just to check how this panned out and with regards to going through the sewing machine and things. Um, I also did revisit my Tyvek one. I think the first one I must have just absolutely, you know, luckily when I stitched it, not really gone near the Tyvek. The Tyvek must have been in the centre you know approximately the center and I stitched more sort of on the edges so I think that's where obviously I was going wrong and you know came unstuck when I then tried to do it again was I was then stitching straight through the Tyvek which was obviously you know not pleasing my sewing machine needle very much anyway this is you know this is going to be a good enough um, solution so let me just adjust my camera because I don't know how in frame I am okay so obviously this is kind of long so uh, it's a little bit tricky keeping it on on my desk right okay so I have a bunch of things here ready to just attach onto my snippet roll so I'm just going to literally take things you know as I spot them and just pop them on so for instance this I've got these little background labely type pieces so I might just just layer these up and of course you know they don't have to be glued particularly brilliantly because we are going to be stitching through this so you know if they're not glued 100% it's not the end of the world so I'm just going to pop these down as long as you sort of capture you know the bulk then that's probably good enough okay and I've just covered the edge of the book page up there can you see that the edge of the book page is not visible so you know that's kind of a you know what you're looking to do preferably and then I'm just going to mix it up because I mean hopefully you're going to get a really good assortment of things to be working with you know so as you have a really varied looking snippet so I mean I say that I have tended to do them weirdly similar colours so either a neutrally one or you know a bright one or whatever but you know it really doesn't matter too much you can mix it up quite a bit so I've got here a label I've got some smaller label the key is here not to overthink it I am she says as as I've gone into overthinking um, yeah I mean it is hard not to overthink I find but you know hopefully that's that's what we're trying to do is not really be overthinking too much so just pop that one down that one and then I might have this I got here I've got a little clock piece kind of a bit addicted to these um, snippets at the moment they're just such fun and um, they really make it so easy for when you come to them make your embellishment pieces that I'm almost like getting hooked on making them <laughs> it's 
it goes or oh, I, I find that I go through phases like that where I really really you know enjoy doing a certain type of embellishment or you know journal or piece or whatever and then I just keep on making it because it you know becomes kind of such fun to do so yeah that's definitely I think how I'm finding these okay so moving along I feel like I'm getting a little bit too cluttered here so I might just have a slightly plainer piece to just break it up I think so we could have like a long long label excuse the back that was where I printed my butterflies but the ink was running low in the printer so instead of pink um, yeah instead of sort of pretty colors they came out just all very lilac toned so um, obviously reprinted on the back so as not to waste the paper don't want another label up there do I okay I might have ticket piece here like that maybe move it up slightly and then we'll just have a flower there and perhaps we'll pop a butterfly in or something might be time for a butterfly mightn't it Have a look. No matter how many things you bring along, you still end up thinking, "Oh, I wish I bought something else." Don't you? I, I do anyway. You know, no matter how much stuff I've bought with me, I still think, "Oh, I wish I bought," you know, this, that, and the other. So there we go. We just glue that on there, like that. And then the other thing that I found quite helpful to do was move my snippet roll along when I did my other ones. Just move it along to a random you know, place and then start working back so that I'm then meeting in the middle. So if I just use, for instance, this part of that label there Maybe I'll just mix it up with this. I found it quite nice to, um, you know, then have an eclectic mix going across it. It helped me mix it up quite a bit by, you know, starting further down and then going backwards and then they kind of meet in the middle instead of because otherwise you're going all that way which oh, I can't really put it into words but <laughs> I found it threw me off a little bit because it ended up then being a little bit uniform so um, it was quite nice to then suddenly start working backwards with completely different feel and then it sort of met together in a bit more of an eclectic way than it would have done if I'd have just continued straight down. I'm just going to shut the door because I can hear my husband quite a lot on the phone. Hold on. Sorry about that. I could just hear him, you know, quite loudly talking on the phone. So um I didn't really want want that going on. Okay. Where did I put those little number tabs? Okay. chucking it down with rain today again and I know that I always say this but I am filming ahead and I always say that because I don't want people kind of watching and thinking well that's really strange because um you know I'm also based in the UK and it's lovely sunshine here I don't want you to think you know what is she what is she talking about but yeah 
have this ginormous butterfly here. Okay. Just pop this one down here. What else have I got? I've got that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Perhaps I'll actually put that right the way, you know, across the middle. Like that. Actually, and I also have got some of my curator's collection portraits, which I thought would be really nice on this snippet roll. I just adore things like this, to be honest. You know, these really lovely portraits and things like that in frames. Just think they're just perfect and, a, you know, a bit like lace, a bit like bling. They just look really great wherever they're put. So, um, yeah, because I've actually added to my curator's collections now. So I have my original ones with the entomology and the ornithology and the botanical. And I've now added some others. So I've got scrap florals from Victorian scrapbook. Then I've got these ones, which are the portraits. And I've got time pieces as well, which is clocks and things. So I think I might be repeating myself. I feel like I have actually said that before. Um, but yeah, just in case I didn't, just in case I'm imagining that. Um, you know, they're also, also in my shop. So just wondering, do I want her up there? Or shall I have her going right the way across? Or shall I have a small one? And then something else. See, straight away I have gone into this overthinking malarkey and um, once you start, you know, there's no coming back from that, I find. So uh, it may just go downhill from here. Just have a look. What else have I brought along here? I mean, I feel like I've bought everything, everything along, you know, you name it, it's here. But I probably haven't. Right, I quite like that. So although it's quite a bit of stuff there, that would hopefully make it really interesting on, on a pocket or something. So I'm just going to pop that number tab in there. Then just place this portrait piece down here like that and then I'm just going to pop that rose over the top I wonder if I've got a slightly smaller one otherwise it was just covering her face kind of completely which oops look covered her face completely that time that's better like that so that down okay then again I'm just going to move the snippet roll along I hope I'm in frame let me just double check okay hopefully it is so again I'm going to just then you know try and mix it up a little bit by just going further along and popping something down, you know, like a long. So just pop that one down there. Not even too sure whether I've put that upside down now. I had. Yep, I had. So let me just let me just pop it the other way up. So introducing a bit of blue now. I might just have my label just going over there like that. Now I 
thought I brought along some more backgroundy type pieces. Okay. They're just handy to have a few filler type bits, really. I mean, obviously, you could use, you know, you know, just some book page or something, to be honest, as your filler pieces. And also, I thought I could add some postage stamp, which I thought I had bought some along. Still got them in their colour coordinated pieces. Um, could have that one, or we could have that. I mean, obviously, that's two different colours on there, but maybe that's quite interesting. Perhaps we'll have that there. So, again, just glue that down. Yeah, I think the rain's here for the day. It's really black. Really black out there. Okay, I've just got another little filler type piece here. So we could just have that here in this midway point. Like that. And I very much kind of like the things quite higgledy-piggledy. I don't want them straight along that's just, you know, my personal preference. I mean, obviously, you know, if you like yours in a straight line, then that's entirely fine. Um, but I think they look quite pretty, sort of jaggedy around, you know, um, rather than all up the same way, which just feels like it's a bit boring to me. To me, that feels a bit boring, but... You know, it's the type of thing that if I then looked at somebody else's piece, I'd think, oh, that looks lovely. But for some reason, when I then try and pull it off, I'm never quite happy with it. So, um, yeah, just do it as you, you know, as per the mood that you take, you know, find takes you. So, there we go. What else have we got here? Another one of those dictionary definitions. Or perhaps we'll have that here. It's quite nice. Obviously appropriate because it's beside the flower. Got some blue butterflies. We have that one there, and then we have another bird. No, don't know why I'm now going into this weird, weird overthinking mode, but okie dokie. So I'll just glue that one down. Okay. Just again glue this one down here. And I've not glued that wing down, so then I can slot something underneath there if I want to. So let me just move this along a little bit. Obviously, I've still got to fill these bits here. So let's just see what else we've got. Got this little blue bird. That's quite nice down there. And then what else have I got? with one of my bigger number tabs really let me just check out what I've got in my little this is my little travel travel ebook that I you know take when I'm going anywhere including when I'm going downstairs in the evening to watch TV so uh, yeah and I couldn't find anything in there but actually I have just remembered I have got my little architecture pieces from um, when I did that back to basics journal so I'm just going to cut this one out see and this is why we never throw anything away isn't it because you know technically this was just scraps really 
know, just the leftover piece, but look, it's just come in perfectly handy now for this, for this project, which if I had used it, you see, I would have then been missing out, wishing I'd kept it. Well, I mean, obviously I wouldn't have done because I wouldn't have really thought of it. It was only that I saw it just before I came on to do this video that I knew it was down there. So this one's a stamped butterfly. Just pop that one on there. So I want a couple of things for in here now. Let's have another one of the dictionary pieces there. Just have that there. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter too much if similar things are next to each other. Like for me, you know, I'm very aware that I've got those two dictionary definitions there. But don't forget, you know, when you come to use this, you're going to be cutting it down into chunks. So, I mean, actually, the chances are these are going to be separate chunks anyway. So, you know, the chances are that's not necessarily going to even be near, you know, near to each other. I'll just pop that bird down there. I don't believe it. My neighbours out there just, I don't know what they're doing, cutting their, I don't know, cutting their hedge or something like that. Which, the irony, because, um, you know, the weather and things is not really like as you would expect for somebody to be out there doing any form of gardening. So I apologise if you can hear that noise in the background. Yeah, I mean, they must literally be out there in the rain. So who knows what it is they're doing, but this lockdown must be really getting to them if they're actually out there in the rain doing their gardening. <laughs> they're desperate for some fresh air, obviously. Right. Might put her there. And I've got another... Oops. Got a number six in a sort of pale blue. I could put that. Just want to just fill that book page gap, really. Now, what am I going to have here? Nope, not that. Maybe that. So how about right I'm going to pop her there sorry about my carrier bag there making that noise my legs just just hit it and now I'm just trying to keep my leg still so it doesn't make a really big noise but I'm going to have to move it because uh, sorry right so we're going to just pop this flower on there Okay. Oh, there they go again with that trimmer or I don't know as I say I'm not quite sure what they're doing out there but yeah there it goes again don't really want an overdose of roses in there do I Looking for something titchy. The only thing is, you see, this it would have to be sort of upside down. Does that matter? Doesn't really, does it? Should I just have that in there anyway? Let's just have that in there. Oops, okay. Right, let me just move this along a little bit more. And then obviously I will show you the finished snippet, which looks really nice, really nice now. Oops, just moving it along a little bit more. So what I might do is go down to this end again, 
and start, you know, right up at this end quickly. So, I mean, actually, actually I've got some book page here, so I might just, might just even pull that in. I mean, the irony, I'm actually now sticking book page on book page. Oh dear, what's wrong with me? <laughs> what on earth is that about? Book page on the book page. There we go. Okay. So, we might just have this lady here. Yep, whatever he's doing out there, he's um, showing no signs of stopping, I'm afraid. So, sorry about that. I mean, it's a temporary stop, I think. So, uh, I'm sure he's going to start up again in a moment. Okie dokie. And then, well, let's just use this rest of this architecture pieces up and then they're gone from my desk oh shall I bin this tiny piece I mean I know it's tiny but you know there still is a tendency to want to hang on to that for you know who knows what reason but for some reason there is a tendency to just not want to throw it away Right, so let's just pop that there. Okie dokie. And obviously you can see it's got a sort of snip out of there, but that's fine because we can just cover that up. So just glue this piece down here. Okay, I've got this flower. Okay, okay, pop that on like that. Let's have a bit more label because we haven't had any label for a while, so. Maybe a smaller piece. No, maybe a bigger piece. I thought, oh, perhaps it needs a smaller piece, but actually, because these are all quite small pieces, I think it was kind of crying out for a large piece, to be honest. So, just glue this down. Okay. One's a bit bright. There's a mix in these are my um, blue book favourites, and there's a mix of bright and not so bright. So um, you know those ones were obviously quite bright ones, but it's quite nice to have the mix, isn't it? But because sometimes obviously you do need them brighter, and sometimes you want them less bright. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, pop that on like that. And then we'll just pop this flower here. Again, I just try and glue those leaves down because they won't probably be caught in the sewing machine. So just to make sure it's, you know, stuck down nicely. What am I going to put in there? Okay, so I'm just going to pop this number tab down in that little space here. And then we'll just pop that rosebud down on there. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm nearly done. I just move it along slightly more. Let me just check that that part's in frame. It's like really hanging off my desk now. So uh, yeah, that's why it's at this weird, weird angle. So this little florally piece, or I have got some with the black background, which might be might be nice to just finish it off with, perhaps. It's a bit too monstrous, isn't it, do you think? A bit monstrous. You know, goodness only knows why I've gone into this overthinking mode, but it just seems to happen. You know, one minute you're going along, you know, happily, and then the next minute, suddenly, that's it, the overthinking has started. And once it starts, it's quite hard to um, stop it, I find. I mean, I have got these little dice, uh, not dice, sorry, the um, dominoes, but I have already inked those up which then to me, they don't really go. Admittedly, when I come to use this, I would probably ink this up. So does it matter? You know, because then the whole thing will be inked up and then they would go. Should we do that? Right, so let me just glue this label down. this piece here like that what did I do with that dice oh there it is oh no now I've lost it all that talking and now I've just lost the piece completely and I'm going to have the butterfly there I think so I wonder if I should have it that way around no, 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 no. So let's just pop this ticket down. Again, I should have really punched that hole. You know, like the ticket, ticket man hole. And then just glue this butterfly down. Again, I mean, this butterfly, he's literally been printed on copy paper, so quite flimsy. I just want to... Um, you know, make sure he's glued down everywhere, really, as best I can. And then I'm just going to pop that dice in there. That way, that way. Or I did have the plain one. The plain one's quite nice. Let me just cut that edge where I'd trimmed it off. We'll have that there like that. Okay, and then do we want that? Do we want that postage stamp on there? I'm only really trying to do it to cover up that hole, but to be honest, when I come to use it, I could probably cover up that hole anyway, so it doesn't, you know, it's not an essential thing. So this is my snippet roll so far. If I just move it along so as you can see it. And as I say, I mean, when I've made my other um, few, I have just literally hung them up, you know, hanging down sort of the wall. So, and to be honest, you could probably use anything. You could use like a drawing pin, hang them in at the top, you know, onto a pin board. I mean, obviously they hang flat. So, I mean, I just use those little peg things. Um, but, you know, whatever, they, they then will just hang flat down the wall. And then when you come to use them, you can just obviously take it off the wall and um you know cut it up so what you can do now is obviously add some lace bits now you don't really even have to glue this on you could just stitch this on but it's sometimes you know you might find it easier to have glued it in place so you're not having to hold it um you know when you're sewing it's then in place already so i'm just going to pop some lace on here so let me just 
check which lace I actually want. I have been using this tatty, tatty lace. This was from an old top and um, I have found that this is quite a good one to use for these snippet rolls because it's quite a quite a raggedy one which I think just suits these so I'm just like cutting it really you know in a rough way kind of thing and then just pop it into any little gaps that you think you know would look good with a bit of lace on and you can have it like overhanging and you know sticking out however you want so I'm just going to glue it here with my tacky glue which Again, I still haven't got any Fabri-Tac, so I'm just using this. I'm not using my hot glue because obviously my sewing machine might not be, you know, so thrilled to suck the hot glue through. But obviously I will be stitching this, so, you know, it's going to be then secured on with some, you know, some thread anyway. So, so long as it's held on well enough to go through the sewing machine, that's all that you're needing to do. And to be honest, you know, as I say, you can just stitch it straight, oops, straight on without even gluing it. I don't know what just went on the floor then, but I just knocked something on the floor. And, you know, you could have some at the top. That's quite pretty like that. And although it seems like it would be flapping around, don't forget, you know, once you've glued this on to a page, this is not going to be flapping around because it's going to be glued onto a piece if you see what I mean so just gluing this down again literally just to hold it in place well enough to stitch it on so just take that like that and just then pop that down and then you know you can trim your lace as per how you want it so again I'll just trim a little bit more off You know, I love being able to use um, or reuse, reuse old clothes and things. It's um, brilliant to to be able to reuse old things, isn't it? So again, I would just just literally enough to hold it, so that when I get down to the sewing machine, it's already you know sort of in place. So I can just move that slightly like that okay and then cut a little bit more okay just trim that down a bit there and then I'll just have, so let me just move this along slightly more. And I will just pop that there, I think. So, okay. I'll just pop that on. It. and then I just want one last piece here for this section here so again just take that little piece there and actually what I could do is just chop it across here okay just trim it there and then I'm just literally going to stick it down under here to just finish that piece off like that. Oh, I could have it that side. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It looks, you know, it looks fine either place. So again, just, a, you know, just enough glue to hold it until I get down to the sewing machine and then it will obviously, you know, get attached when sewing it on. Okay, so that is our completed snippet roll so there we go and as I say I mean that was six pieces of the book page so you know quite a good length probably you know possibly even a little bit too long to be honest you know perhaps five would be better 
um, but I love how it looks and certainly I'm finding these very 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 addictive to use they are you know they just make it super fun to be decorating and embellishing some things so perhaps we'll do one more but incorporate some um, other things maybe like the toadstools and things so that we did on the other one okay so I've changed out some of the pieces that are on my desk now for slightly more um, natural and neutral sort of colours um, so I'm just going to put the you know the ready cut pieces to one side and then I dug out some of my mushroom or toadstool pages there just from a book um, got a couple of clock faces there that are quite neutral and then I've got some of my bees knees pieces from my bees knees kit which I just thought they're quite oops these are obviously lingering over from the bright colored stuff um, which I just thought were quite neutral in colour as well. So I've got some other book page here. This is quite a long book page. So this is from a vintage um, book, but I'm just going to cut this down like that. And actually I've got, in fact, let's just cut it down like that. But to be honest, I might need only four four or five of these because this is significantly longer book page than I had with the last book so um, just going to again take these and make my my long snippet ready so we just glue that together and then the next one and obviously I mean you can use you know you can make them as long or as short as you want so you know when I said six pages or maybe like five pages for this one of course if you want to make them smaller or or bigger then that's you know up to you as well so um, make them just as you as you wish so I might go for one more Oops. The lid of my glue now gone on the floor so again you know just really roughly cutting that because nobody is going to be seeing this piece so you know it really doesn't matter at all what what that looks like and again you know if you're working on smaller pe or with smaller pieces maybe on a smaller journal or you know if you're just a bit more delicate than me then by all means cut your book pages smaller you know um your strips cut them narrower I like them quite chunky and I like the fact that then I can have two pieces generally sort of one top one bottom um, because I think that makes it quite interesting where if obviously it was much smaller much narrower I might only be able to actually fit one thing along there right <clears throat> so enough waffling let's just get started so I'm just going to take some of my little toadstool images so I'm going to take this one here. I'm just going to sort of fussy, fussy tear around there like that. So I mean, obviously I am just tearing this. So I mean, it's not obviously going to be quite in line with those mushrooms, but hopefully it will be good enough. So like that. Okie dokie. Yep, it's still raining outside, so um, no sign of any let up so far. So do you know what? I might even start in the middle now, um, which I haven't, I haven't ever done that before. So I'm just going to apply my glue like that and pop that down there. And that way I have kind of freedom to go then you know off from from there basically so might just have this little label coming off here we've got some butterflies which again I mean they're not obviously really a neutral color but I thought they were rather nice so maybe this side we could have that coming out obviously because I didn't glue those down quite 
then it's quite nice because then I've got the ability to, you know, lift them up and slot something in behind, which is quite nice to be able to do that. So I've got my neutrally colour flowers here. I might just pop one down here. Like that. Move that along a bit. Let's have something from the, the Bees Knees kit. So let's have one of those bits. Just cut these out. I might even have a bee somewhere on here actually as well. And perhaps one of those bee beehive things. So just get those ready. And these flowers, which I love this flower. I've used it in a couple of kits and um, yeah, I just think it's such a lovely flower. Okay. So we've got that one. Let's cut this one out. And again, I mean, don't worry too much about the fussy cutting if you're cutting any bits and pieces because once you've actually stitched through this, you've inked it all up and stuck it down, it really, you know, will look pretty good. Your cutting will be disguised. And I only mention that. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm fantastic. I just mean because lots of people, you know, the fussy cutting is a bit intimidating, isn't it? And... Definitely, I mean, I used to kind of look at sheets and think, oh no, I can't buy that because it's full of things to cut. But I mean, actually, the more you do it, the quicker you get. And to be honest, with the use of the ink afterwards, you know, it really is pretty easy to disguise any sort of mistakes and things like that. So, you know, I think um, it's easy to get too worried about things sometimes. Definitely, I mean, that's my... That's my experience anyway. So we'll just pop that dictionary piece down there. Actually, I've got these little flowers here, which they're pretty neutrally. I don't want it too colourless because then it would look really you know, really boring, I think. So, um, we want, you know, we want a bit of colour, don't we? Perhaps I'll have that on that side. We want it tucked under. Yeah, we can just tuck that under there. Like that. Okay. Could have another label piece. What else have I got here? Got some butterflies. How about if we have that there and then that butterfly, so just pop that in there. I'm just going to pop this one down here. just about see the word inspire on there so haven't quite covered it up had a horrible feeling for a moment i thought oh no i've actually covered that completely but it is it is still visible just about so i've got some plain domino pieces here around those it's quite cute poking out from there actually and I wonder if I should have a number one coming out there Oops. a 
And then I might have a plainish piece, I think, next to that. So this is where I'm going to, I think, maybe use something from here. So this is from my Bees Knees kit. And I think what I will do is just tear this roughly in the middle. Like that. I haven't actually used this kit so far. So, um... Quite nice to have a bit of a little play with it. Okay, so that then just brings in that yellow, which looks lovely then. So again, I'll just pop some glue down there. Again, you know, not too worried because obviously the sewing machine's going to, you know, pick up any bits that get missed. So, um, not, you know, not too, too worried. That looks really nice. And then what are we going to have on this end? Let's have a look. Maybe this lady. Ah, oh, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? So again, just finish that end off. So it was quite fun starting in the middle, actually. It was quite nice starting, you know, starting along a bit. Just pop that down. Okay, so I just apply a bit more glue there because I hadn't obviously glued that down. So I'm just going to move this whole roll along now a little bit. Oops. So again, what I might do is just go in sort of in a midway point so that I can then again you know draw them in so what have I done with the rest of those toadstools here we go so I've got these ones here so again I'm just going to sort of fussy tear those out those maybe here just pop those down like that and then I might take the other half of this piece that we just used let's tear that down Tear that edge off like that and I'm just going to tear off here so as I've got rid of that white you know inner core bit from that paper so what I can do is obviously trim that down further so that I've got it you know half and half because otherwise it was a big giant piece which I had up the other end which I didn't mind but I didn't necessarily want it there again so just trim that down again I can then just stick that mushroom onto there like that now did bring along those because I thought they might be striking got these birds now just wondering whether if I cut around that bird a little bit more so I just you know trim that in because again no, nobody really knows what that frame looked like, do they? So we'll just cut that frame down. So he's then, you know, better size for popping onto there. And again, you know, don't forget this is going to be inked up. So although he looks, <clears throat> you know, like quite a different colour match, by the time it's all inked up, it will all sort of blend in, hopefully. Hopefully, that's the plan. So I've got a little number I might have there. Which actually, before I just glue that down, I'm just going to check what else I'm going to have here. So I might just have that there. And then I've got a little green sort of toned clock. 
because I've gone quite green here. I'll just cut that down. have to clock that side so and the number four oops okay I think I'm going to have that B there so again just glue this one down put that B on there I think it's time for a flower maybe a label yep so I'll just Pop that label down there. And then just pop those flowers there. Oops. Probably that way up. I was just trying to see which way up they really were supposed to go, but also to be covering that book page. So but there we go, that's fine. So I'll just check that I'm filming, that I'm in frame. Okay, so I just want to fill in this little section here. So again, I've got some label pieces. So I could have a label there. What did I do with my cutout domino? Oops. Horrible wonky cook. Uh, wonky cutting that I was doing there so so much for whatever it is that I was rambling on about just now with the cutting so uh, I mean sometimes it's obviously better than others but definitely big big scissors help with the um, fussy cutting so I know that I've said that in lots of comments, you know, definitely big scissors are the way to go. I I think, I mean, I have seen people fussy cutting with teeny weeny scissors. I mean, personally, that's definitely, you know, not the way to go for me. But, you know, I mean, I guess each to their own and some people maybe would find that really helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never really got on with tiny scissors, but you maybe would find them helpful but you know if you've struggled before then maybe try some big ones let's have a little toadstool again so maybe have him there oh how cute does that look i love how that looks and just pop him down there and Got a big butterfly that we can have as well I need to be careful because if I just cover that mushroom up or toadstool up too much it just doesn't then look like anything it's you know like that like that it's like what's that what is that at the top of there so I have to just be a bit careful how I cover that up so All right, let me just check what else I could do with some more of that dictionary definition I don't know whether I've got any more I could have a little man I could have that man walking there I know that's a bit of an eclectic kind of mix but eclectic's the the way we've gone here isn't it so let's just pop him down and then I've got here a little clock face Quickly pop this one down, hopefully. Oops. Let's just 
just see. And then if we have the butterfly there, I just need something now for in that space. So we could even just have a flower maybe. Not that one. Oops. Yeah, let's do that. So just pop this clock face down. Okay, and pop these gigantic flowers down. Like that, and then going to have the butterfly there like that. Okay. Right, so that's that, and then just move that along a little bit so again I'm going to just go sort of halfway along again and you know just put something halfway along so to be honest I might as well finish off this toadstool page by using up this final toadstool image just get rid of that piece at the top Okay, so it's in there like that. I have got some, um, a little torn piece here with some text which is quite neutrally and nice. I might just pop that in. Maybe just behind there. Like that. So now I can just glue that toadstool onto there now. Just have those little flowers there, like that. Okay, we're on the home stretch now, so we are getting there with our with our snippet roll. Okay, cut that one round. I've made a hideous job of cutting these dominoes. I really should not have talked about the cutting at all because um, it's just, yeah, like awful. I've done the most shocking cutting now for the whole the whole of the video. So um, yeah, what what was I thinking? Trying to offer any sort of advice to anybody? Excuse my my leg there dragging across the carrier bag. Um, what was I doing trying to offer any sort of advice to anybody about the cutting because wow my cutting's been shocking throughout this whole video so okay pop that like that okay we've got the domino piece there that's pretty isn't it so I just want to have something Kind of poking out behind it. Let me just have another look at the. Oh, here we go. I may may use a section of here. And again, I'm just going to tear that down. That looks really nice, doesn't it? So let's just go for that. So we we'll just glue this domino down like that. I'll go for this one. Just want it tucked under that domino a bit. And then we're going to just have this flower here. Okay, and then, oh, really random, but should we have one of these, <laughs> one of these architecture pieces in here? I know, so it's weird, isn't it? But, weird, but hopefully it's going to look okay. 
I mean, I'm saying that laughing, but, you know, who knows? It might look shockingly terrible. Oh, it, it looks okay, doesn't it? it you know, because colour-wise, it does tone. So, you know, I know theme-wise, it's well off. You know, way, way, way off of the um, general theme that we have going on here. But colour-wise, it does at least go, so... Let me just check that I'm in frame. Right, okay, so let's just quickly fill in these couple of bits here. So, put one of my numbers up there, like that. And then I'm thinking another butterfly would be quite good. got quite small ones now which um other than this bright color butterfly that's the one that i brought along which uh, taking it away from being that neutrally theme that i you know was planning so perhaps perhaps it's time we have that thingamajiggly um oh what's the word Bee, beehive. Perhaps it's time we have that. So let's just cut around that. I just cut those little shadows off. It's got some shadows on its feet, you know, beneath its feet, and I just cut them off completely. Because otherwise they look a bit like little tassels to me, so get rid of them completely and then you know, you don't have to worry about those. A bit like, you know, when I cut off those antenna things from the butterflies. You know, just destroying, destroying nature completely, but... It just saves you cutting those out, really, so... Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's so nice there, isn't it? So I just need to put something down here, which I mean that's quite good, but let's see what else I've got here. Mm. I got any more text that's in sort of browning colour, not really. Right, let me just have another look. Let's go for this section here. Actually, this section here, I think. If we tear that down. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, something about just beautiful text, isn't there? I absolutely just love the look of sort of beautiful text. It's just um, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just really something I really do love the look of. So for me, that just looks so pretty, you know, just that piece of text. So we just pop the beehive down. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I dropped dropped the beehive, and then it was kind of wedged underneath the flower. Which is funny because, I mean, if I'd have tried to do that, it wouldn't have worked. Right. Okay, we're definitely now, we're on the home stretch. So, oops, I need to be careful here because I've glued this to the mat. And that's only copy paper, that. So, just need to be a bit careful. Okay, right. Don't want those. Yeah, I quite like those. Um, <laughs> what else am I going to have in there? That butterfly is really nice there, isn't it? Let me see whether I've got another little number tab or anything. Yeah, let's pop that in there. Okay, 
pop that flower on there like that and then I'm just going to pop that butterfly down I had printed these butterflies on that photo paper which I know I've been talking about recently that I'd bought by mistake you know I thought it was matte and it was glossy um, because I thought they might look really quite nice in the um, the gloss rather than the matte right I'm going to pop this here on this end let me just check that I'm in frame for this because you'll know it's quite quite off the desk there we go I've got that clock which that might be quite nice so again let me just cut this out now this is again just on copy paper so it might be better if I'm not having this actually off you know off hanging too much because obviously it is only thin paper Okay, so that's the clock. That clock looks really nice there. Let me just pop maybe some, maybe some of that book page or something. Or maybe not that. Um, maybe some of the book page that we used earlier. If I just maybe incorporate some of that there. And then have the clock there just because, um, you know, because it's on obviously copy paper, I didn't really want it very flimsy. So if it's, you know, stuck on over the book page, it's now two layers of book page technically on there. So it's just thickening it up a little bit. Because this has got quite a lot of fiddly little tiny bits, do you see, that would be likely to get torn off, I think. So, um, certainly from me, they would be likely to. So I just press that down. Okay. Oh, I did say about having a bee, didn't I? Should we just... Oh, let's have these flowers as well. So, just because I suddenly thought oh these are nice droopy ones so they're going to add a completely different um, look to everything else hopefully so just quickly cut these out again I mean don't worry too much if you're cutting things like this because you know seriously your inks just going to cover you know things up pretty well so like there that's got a little bud which I think looks a little bit weird so I'm just going to trim that off like that and then nobody even knows that I had a bud in the first place so I'm going to I think put them that way round and should we have we could have like a dark piece but maybe that's a bit maybe that's a bit too too much could have a bird but that's quite a tiny piece uh, let me see what else I brought along hold on I mean it really does take up quite a lot of stuff to be honest to make these snippets you know because you want them to look really full and um, you know really full and interesting so it does take up quite a lot of stuff, I think. Just going to glue that down there. Oh, have I not got any more labels? Let's not have. Okay, right, let's have a look. Maybe we'll have another one of these pieces. Okay, you don't. 
I have no idea how long I've been filming for so again I just apologize if this video is now dragging on for hours because um, obviously where I've stopped it a couple of times I have no idea now how long I've been filming for and yeah I've got this feeling it may be quite some time so apologies if um, you know if it's dragging on Well, I mean, obviously, don't don't feel that you have to stick with me. <laughs> you know, of course, if you are bored, then um, feel free to flick me off. Okay, okay been that. So I've just got that tiny domino there. Now, where's my dictionary definition? Because I would like to have one of those really on here. I'm not going to be able to find one now. I've got a large number tab, which, oh, I could have done with those earlier. Where were they earlier when I needed them? Oh, come on. I've got that little label, actually. Right, let's do this. So I'm going to have that label there, might have a little number tab maybe here, right that's just, did I glue that down, yeah, just pop that one down there, this one here. Then the number there on the top. Okay, and then I mean to be honest, we could just could just have a little flower there. It's quite pretty. And I'm still struggling now with what to put in here. Still looking for those dictionary definitions. I have got some printed out in their little pouch, but they're obviously not now beside me, so I don't want to have to stop the video again. I mean, seriously, you do bring along quite, or, you know, I did bring along quite a lot of stuff, but, you know, it's used, obviously, a lot of stuff, so... And you don't know 100% what exactly you're going to be needing. It's very much, you know, kind of guess, trial and error, and... Um, you know, it may be that you don't then bring everything that you needed. Right, I'm going to have it like that. So I'm going to, I think, pop this one down here. I'm going to have these flowers hanging like on the top, top of there, like that. And then we have that domino piece like that. Yeah, let's do that. And the flowers there. Ta da! Hooray! Oh, that was um, tough going, wasn't it? Okay. Yep, in need of a cup of tea now. So I'm going to just pull it along to show you, obviously, that finished one. So. I felt like it was slightly shorter, but actually it may be just as long. So we've got from that end going along all the way along like that. And obviously it's a bit bent up now because it's been kind of wedged on my desk, but it's fine because again, when I run it through the sewing machine, you know, just top and bottom with some stitching, um, it will kind of flatten it back out and uh, yeah then I will probably just hang it up until I'm ready to come to use it so okay well I hope that you enjoyed that and um, hope you've had fun if you've made one yourself so thank you very much for joining me and hopefully see you all again soon thanks then bye